come on in, two sisters tell, gather round everyone. I have here my trusty magic gate ball. Let's take a look inside, see what it has to show us. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave out the rest. If you don't resonate with the reading, feel free to check out my other videos. You may have some messages there. Now without further ado, let's start the reading. I call upon you, Heavenly Father, asking that you bring down the message or messages for the collective and to protect me as I give them their message or messages and to protect them as they receive it. Please and thank you. I ask all this in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to do what's being manifested. Reading. And spread. all of you that are subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope that you'll be able to have many messages that help you out and give you clarity on the situations that you go through. It's kind of sideways. I'm gonna avoid it. If it comes back out, I'll take it. I'm just not sure how to take that one. At the bottom of the deck, we have Four of Cups. 
Now, as you can see, for cards anyway, it, rep it, it resembles a person. These car two cards represent the heart of what's being manifested. This is the head of what's being manifested. This is what God or the universe is bringing or manifesting. This is what you're manifesting, and this is what's to come next. Now, the two that's represented by the heart of what's being manifested, we have the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Even though it's slow and surely happening, I did that in that. Even though it's slowly but surely happening, your wish fulfillment is coming into manifestation. But remember, slow and steady is the bet is the way to win the race. Anything that you want to last, you want to be at a slow and steady pace rather than rushed in and fall off the pieces. So keep that in mind, especially when it's still your wish fulfill wish fulfillment. Now the head was being manifested. You have the nine of swords. Even though it's in the upright. I'm feeling as though you're manifesting your way out of this. You may be currently in this Nine of Swords, but you're wor working hard on manifesting, getting out of your headspace. Perhaps you it's got making you feel on pins and needles because of your environment or situation that you're going through while you're trying to manifest the life that you're wanting. And because of the other surrounding cards, it's a positive, you know, way of getting yourself out. You will get yourself out, even if it's at a slow pace with that as well. Now what God or the universe is bringing or manifesting, you have the Queen of Pentacles. And I, this rainbow here is, is coming out to me. So I'm picking up as a promise that was made to you that will be fulfilled. Because remember when God makes a promise, he keeps his promises always. As it says, it's, it's uh, as it goes, God is not a man that he shall lie. So he tells the truth and he goes, follows through. So you will have your abundance. Even on a process, not just on the physical is what I'm picking up. I'm also picking up something on a spiritual sense. But you'll be well taken care of. Not only your needs being taken care of, but you'll have everything that in alignment and feeling like more the queen of pentacles because everything is coming in maybe slowly and surely but it's still coming in at something that's your wish, wish fulfillment now over here we have what you're manifesting is a seven of pentacles your investments might seem like it's taking its time but they are coming in so know that despite the time frame that it's taking it's happening anyway so just keep steadily working on what you're doing and everything will work out your projects what have you I, i'm picking up that someone might be studying law so, of course, that's going to take time, like especially if you're going to school for being a lawyer. I'm trying to see what else I might pick up before I get to the next card. I'm picking up, you stop looking at your watch at all times, trying to wait for things to come in, like watching your crops grow. Because I just make it feel like time slowing down even more with everything coming in. And here in the background, I'm picking up the lake or pond. I'm not sure which one it is. So with that, I'm picking up on horizons. It's just right on horizons. Now here, what was to come next, we have the lovers in reverse. Especially with this four of cups at the bottom. Maybe you're feeling it's taking too long for love to come into your life. But just look at it in a different way. Maybe you're being prepared at this time because you have to be ready. And if you're not ready, 
then it won't last the way it needs to. So perhaps one of, for some of you, you've had a promise of, of someone coming into your life that will be your partner, but these still take time because you both have work to do on yourselves on your separate journeys before you two come together to come in together. So don't look at it as a force cups energy of this don't seem like it'll ever come in because that's not true. It will come in. And I'm feel drawn to pick up one of these cups to see the fifth card. So perhaps with this being at the bottom here, that what the one I'm supposed to get with the four of swords. Right now, you just need to rest and recuperate from what you've been through, especially with this Nine of Swords. So, just take the time to rest and do the inner work that's needed until it's time for you to come in. And then here we have the Empress right above that. So, just work on... And it can it can still work for a man, too, you know, even if it's an Emperor, whatever, whichever applies to you to really work on becoming more your divine masculine or divine feminine at this time. And everything will work itself out. But overall, take this time to work on trying to get more out of your head space at this time while things are at a slower pace. So that way you can work on yourself. Take that rest of and meditate and go inward and reflect and see what else is needing to be worked on before you two come into union, whoever is meant for you. Now, that is all I'm getting from the tarot. We will now move on to the oracle. We're going to start with the Archangel Oracle. Passion. Archangel Hanel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So at this time, you have a new passion has been, renied, has been ignited in you. So keep following that new passion you're having for your love life and our career. And I'm picking up because the way she just looks, something about her just sticks out to me. So don't be afraid to be different because that difference that you are is what makes you truly stand out in a very authentic, but in a way that people take notice in a positive way. So don't be afraid to stand out in that way. I'm also picking up your meant to stand out, not blend in. So own that. Career, career transition. Archangel Shamel, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So at this time, there is a career change that's happening. Whether it's because you just started a project or you'll soon be in that transition. Especially the one that I picked up that you're possibly going to law school. That'll definitely be a transition into a new career change. Maybe you just started this. And I, I'm picking up, you'll stand out amongst them as well as because you have something about you that has a certain ability that'll help you stand out more with doing so for those that um, resonate with that. But I mean, stand out and be true no matter what it is that you're doing. Outdoors. Archangel Jafel, Jafiel. Go outside Get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. 
So also by going outside will help you find that new passion within you. For those of you that has that's not quite there yet, especially with the four of cups. Especially when it comes to the love life part. Perhaps. I'm also picking up from that reverse lovers that you're in a very indecisive and indecisive right now. Maybe you don't know what that is yet and you're still trying to find your purpose. More reasons to go outside, outdoors, and also inner reflect so you can find your purpose again. So you can have that passion, not only in your love life, but career. And for those of you that's not even worried about love, just love your life in general and your career. Perhaps you're, you're conflicted about which way you should go in your career right now. And now would be a good time to go within and really try to figure that out. And asking God and the angels and all what you should do. What is the purpose of what you're needing to do at this time? That would re reignite your passion within you. Obviously, I was meant to get this fourth one. <laughs> Overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you. Jeremiah, I think, actually. The worst is now behind you. You are surmounting any previous challenges. So perhaps some of you are just feeling a bit flustered right now because you've had so much upheaval. But as it, again, with that nine of swords in the what's it being manifested in the head uh, the head of what's being manifested is is just this is yeah I'll get it out you were overcoming the difficulties of that situation excuse me I'm a bit tongue tied anyway and at the bottom we have you know what to do Archangel Urel Trust your inner knowledge and ex and act upon it without delay. So many of you already know what to do. It's just a matter of doing it and a matter of getting out of your head space now that you've come overcome these difficulties. Now, next, we're going to do Earth Magic Oracle. Ceremony, innovation, invocation, my bad, invocation. So maybe there's a, a, something you're needing to do, like on a spiritual level, that will help bring you to this. To help you get closer to God, do a spiritual, something spiritual that will bring you closer to God. And your spiritual team. And that will also help bring you back to your passion. For those of you that hasn't even been brought to that yet. I'm also picking up something. Right here. It reminds me of a knitting or crochet basket so maybe some of you might be might have been trying to figure out that's what you might want to do and maybe this is your confirmation that maybe that's even if it's just for a hobby that gives you some form of purpose again childhood innocence tap back also going inward would help you find that inner child and really find your inner light. That will also help you find, find that career path you need or your purpose that you're looking for. To help you transition into the new. Some of you just needing something new because you've gotten a bit bored or not content with it. With the four of cups in reverse. That was in the tarot. And again, for some others, 
you just finally found that and now you had that spark back when when you already was in that energy but now you're not take it however it resonates with you because again this is a general reading Green Man, Synergy. That'd be right underneath outdoors. You need to, that just clarifies more. You really just need to go outside and get in touch with nature again. Or a nature walk. Meditate. You can even meditate, have a walk meditating. As long as you focus on your breathing and your walking. On your footsteps. And just really tap in. You can even jog and do that. It really help clear your mind. And clear up the muddle in your mind. You'd be surprised how easily you can clear your mind just from a simple walk or a jog. So you can see things more clearly. And it'll give you some insight and also picking up that will also shed some light so you know what to do. Wind, activation. With this being right underneath overcoming difficulties, you are now activating that new passion within you. And with the wind, I'm picking up, take wherever it takes you. Like, you know how the wind drifts you off places, drifts things off. Go with it. Just go outside and just feel the breeze. And that'll help you feel alive again and activate that something within you to help bring you to that. And that sunlight right here beaming down on you would really help as well. At the bottom of the deck, we have Shaman, Ancient Healing Wisdom. So really getting back in touch with nature would really help you bring healing and wisdom and really help you have more clarity and insight. Now we're going to move on to the Moonology Oracle. Look inside and make sure that it's not in the way of these cards so you can see them. Your commitment is being tested. Quarter, uh, first quarter moon. Okay, especially with what the heart is manifesting, what your heart is manifesting with the uh, wish fulfillment and the uh, Knight of Pentacles. Your commitment is being tested, especially for those of you that I picked up where there was a promise made to you. Your commitment is still being tested. See if you really how much you really want to persevere and have this new beginning. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Confirmation of that, but also what I just picked up on that card. Show the world the real you. No matter how different you may feel like you are, that's that is what makes you stand out is because of your difference so don't be afraid to show that and let it stand out i'm also picking up especially with this childhood here maybe someone's favorite movie is I don't remember the name of that movie. I know what it's popped in my head with that train. Polar Express. Maybe that's a maybe your favorite family movie or child movie. Or something that you like to watch with your child. And it brings you fond memories. And we have a win-win outcome is forecast. So, full moon in Libra. So, 
perhaps this past, which has been two full moons ago now, you were able to have more clarity on what direction you should go. And it's bringing you to that. Now for others, either way, it's a win-win a win-win outcome. And with this scale again, what I picked up on those cards as well, with law, some of you going to school for law, whether it's lawyer or whatever, this is just more confirmation on this. This is the direction you should go if this is what you just started doing or even considering doing. And with the win-win, I'm picking up, especially when I was picking up that you standing out, taking that, that you'll have what it takes to really win the cases that you take on. I'm hearing with this right here that looks like a star. Shoot for the stars. The sky is the limit. Do not hold back. Just keep going. And go for it. Go big or go home is what I'm picking up. Anyway. You have nothing to lose because it, it will be a win-win outcome. Surrender to the divine. Full moon. So, at this time you're being told to surrender and if you haven't already watched it maybe you might resonate with surrender to God it's, it helps you to learn how to surrender your burdens and your difficulties over to God instead of trying to take it all upon yourself and to lay it upon his feet so to speak and learn to surrender because by surrendering that it will free you is all that means Instead of trying to take on the burden, uh, all the burdens on yourself. And at the bottom of the deck, we have prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So, right, you, even though again, slow and surely wins the race, it's right around the corner. Your wish fulfillment and having prosperity lies ahead, especially with what God or the universe is bringing or manifesting as Queen of Pentacles. So you're well on your way to having that. And as far as which video that is, if you want to check that out, that resonates for you, I feel that you might, it might can help you. That's this uh, past Wednesday spiritual message, for me, spiritual message Wednesday. Let me see if I'm picking up anything overall before I move on. Perhaps some of you are also following a career path that you've had that longed for, dreamed for since you were a child, and now you're going for it. And with this win-win outcome, that's your confirmation that yes, that is the passion you should follow. And any difficulties that you have in your way that's making you feel as though it's impossible to do, to have that, you're overcoming those difficulties. Also, I'm picking up surrender the outcome. But all in all, that is all I'm picking up from the reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I hope this helps someone or many people. And this resonates, at least with some. And excuse the train. But anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, God bless.